So initially on the uprights for the x-axis gantry, I was going to use uh, this aluminum channel <coughs> as a temporary upright, and uh, once the machine is up and running, I would uh, cut out some out of steel or aluminum plate. But uh, I decided to go with steel on this. I had some 3 8 inch plate. Um, I laid the holes out, and with the bearing blocks being inconsistent, what I would do is just open up uh, any holes that don't directly line up with the bearing block, so I have one to open up here. Um, added the extra holes for bearing block adjustment, and then uh, for the ball nut block. I'm going to add a little bit of extra height on this for some adjustment in case I uh, change the spindle or any, for any reason I need to up, uh, adjust the, the gantry up and down. This being a cut edge, it's not perfectly square, but I'm mimicking it with all these clamps that I had over here to get the same same edge. So I cut an uh, inch and a quarter angle iron, uh, holes on two inch centers, drilled 5 16 18 in the aluminum, um, and then I'm just going to tack these to the, to the uprights. Alright, well the angle iron officially got weird, so uh, I'm going to have to scratch that and figure something else out. Alright, well the uh, solution to the funky angle iron is more funky angle iron, except for this time it's going to be aluminum. Uh, total of five through this plate to this piece of angle iron, two through the square tubing to the guide rails and two through the this balloon and through the square tube. So a lot more holes drilled down.
All right, well, that's it for now. I ran out of hardware, so uh, next one I'll be putting the Z-axis together. I'm going to need some more materials for that. And